Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk one below out this morning Fahrenheit. Does that feel nice and warm? No. No? Your new hat looks good on you. Keeping your ears warm, huh? Yeah. You ready for school? Yeah. You got flute practice today? Yeah. Awesome. Here comes the bus. We don't even gotta wait long. That's nice, huh? Yeah. That is true. Since that last clip of Olivia getting on the bus, it seems like only a minute for you guys, but it's been about half an hour. Went inside, had some breakfast burritos for breakfast, and it dropped two more degrees. It's negative three out now. It's supposed to warm up, not get colder. <laughs> we got a nice sunrise this morning. Nice, clear sky, there's no clouds out. And when that happens, that's when it gets cold. The clouds pulled the heat in, from what I understand. Not a meteorologist, just what I've been told. Do you girls stay warm? There you go, have a nice warm water. Close the barn door this morning. It's chilly. Go for it, Willow. You know better. Hey, Willow. There you go. Get the old hands warmed back up for Willow. Maybe she'll let more milk down if I have warm hands. I try to keep the wipes near the wood stove so that way there at least room temperature of the house. Keep them in my body and keep them warm. I'll wipe Willow with our wipes before we milk and then when we get done with milking. This morning being so cold out, I'm gonna give the girls their half a flake of hay in the barn. That way they can stay in out of the wind. When it warms up, I'll open up their goat door for the barn, but for now, they can stay inside and stay warm. <laughs> oh, Willow, I hope you're pregnant. Yes, ma'am. There you girls go. Enjoy the hay. Stay in and stay warm. Yeah. Did you get it all?
You think you want to go outside, Pluto. And so do you, Figaro, until you get out there. It's pretty cold. Going out. I gotta try the new handle on New York City this morning. Not gonna leave it open, but let's see if the door is workable with it on there. Let's see. Nice. Still the bust free from the ice. Too cold out this morning to leave the door open. Did you guys survive the cold night? Looks like you did. And they already laid a couple of eggs for us. They take your water. You looking for your grain? Get the two eggs before they freeze. Thank you, ladies. I think she's in a rush to get back in the house and warm up. You wanna go in and warm up? It's supposed to be warming up. But instead, it's getting colder. Ah! I have a semi-outside project we need to do today. It's gonna be kind of chilly for it. to get a measurement of the length of this window right here. All right, so eight feet goes to there. You want to go in now, Figaro? You cold enough? I've been promising Gina window boxes on the outdoor kitchen now for two years. I said I was going to do it last year. We just ran out of time. I went to the lumber yard last week and I picked up some cedar planks. This should keep them from rotting. I figure before we go outside and set up the saw, we might as well do as much of the layout inside in the warm basement that we can. It's warmed up a few degrees, but it's still not that nice out this morning.
down. More to go. This one's going to be the bottom, so we're going to make straight cuts on it. Changed my mind, I'm going to wait to cut this one until we got the outer box put together. We'll have a better length for this board. Need to figure out the width on this one. Five and three eighths. Smells like a pencil after you sharpen it. I'm gonna glue the joints together and then I'm gonna tack them together with staples. And then once I have it all together, I'm gonna screw it. But the staples will help hold it in place at first. Now I can get a good blank. 82 and 7 eighths. I must say, I'm looking forward to making the last cut outside and then going in the house for the rest of the day. <sighs> I'd much rather work in my basement than out here when it's this cold out. What was that measurement again? 83 and 7 eighths? Oh, that's right, thanks. 82 and 7 eighths. Good thing you guys caught me there. I lied. I'm gonna make a couple more cuts afterwards. Man. Oh well, we'll get this one done and... Oh, it's nice to be in the basement where it's nice and warm. Fit this first to make sure everything's going to work first. Looks like it's a hair long. Yeah. Alright, we'll cut down a hair. Alright, let's try this now. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Put some glue on it.
want to even out these two pieces of wood and clamp them together. Right in here, and then we can screw it in the middle. We won't have to worry about any bowing. I think three, maybe I'll do two. And then it'll be divided in thirds. So if we want different things in here to separate them, so if they're like root crawlers, maybe it'll stop them. Now one of the hardest parts for me, waiting for this to dry so I can sand it and finish it. Oh, not always good at waiting. Gina's going to have a nice seven foot long window box that we can grow herbs in this coming spring. I hope it's as good as she thought it was going to be. We need some garlic, a garlic press, a bowl, some salt, avocado oil. Tonight we're going to make some roasted cauliflower. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to quarter it. And I want to cut behind the big stem. Do you want to break one apart into little florets? Yeah, we can cut that one. Open up your garlic press and squeeze it. Use your muscles. You do it. Yeah, you gotta squeeze really hard. Now 
we're gonna cook up some of our pasture-raised pork that we raised and butchered here on the homestead. by Norma. So, Merry Christmas, Olivia, Gina, and Al. Nice mini pack. Is this going to be what you're learning in school tomorrow? I think so. Whoa! Look at them funky things. Yeah, it's a hat. The two different hats with ponytail holes. That's fine. Cool beans. I like your colors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you see a window box? No, I didn't. You didn't see it? Nice and long. Long. Yeah, it's seven feet long. Hey, well, you can go in there. No, you can sit in there. I just gotta sand it down and oil it. Hey, go get it. Awesome. Well, I'm glad Gina likes the window box. She's really gonna love it once we get it mounted and we get some soil in there. I'm so looking forward to springtime and this new growing season that's gonna be upon us before we know it. I know right now for us it seems like it's so far away, but before we know it. It's going to be that time of the year. We're going to be playing in the dirt, getting our piglets. Hopefully Willow will be having her baby kids. We'll have a new puppy by then. And there's going to be so much new life come springtime. I know we're looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are too. Just keep pushing forward, thinking big, and dreaming of your next big adventure. Thanks, guys, for coming along on our journey with us. You truly are a blessing to our family. We hope we can bless your family in one way or another. And we'll see you guys right back here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.